Ladies and gentlemen, City Skylines, part number 16, Max City Build. Glad to have everyone back. Picking up here in our island that we've constructed in our previous couple episodes, and we are looking spectacular. I've gone ahead and I've zoned it and run it on max speed, and it's actually built up quite nice. Now, there's a lot of things that we can still do. I haven't done much with foliage and parks and stuff like that. I just kind of wanted to see where our city would sit once I fully, um, you know, zoned out low density commercial and to be honest with you we're actually looking pretty good as far as our vitals uh our um residentials are low our commercials believe it or not are still you know at a medium demand but we're really to work this episode is our industry as i mentioned in previous episodes i want to kind of construct somewhat of a industrial um i don't want to say headquarters but some sort of sublet for our downtown area as this grows here um we are getting these messages as you can see these are actually messages for not enough goods to sell so i'm thinking our manufacturing and our industry is lacking now i've done a couple things since we've hung up last episode as you can tell with the zoning here of the end of the island um, I've added a little bit more industry out here and look at this pollution oh my goodness this is getting quite ridiculous out here but we'll have to address that maybe in another episode um <laughs> wow but um yeah so i've added a little bit of industry out here and i've added a little bit more over here and i've i've kind of rezoned some of this stuff um i guess we have to empty out our cemetery there and it's just not helping so what we're going to do this episode as i've mentioned is we're going to go ahead and we're going to make this little area here there's actually quite a bit of oil i don't know how much we're going to really focus so much on that but there is uh, opportunity here for some um, some industry and that's kind of what we're going to work on here so without further ado let's get started now I've gone ahead and um, kind of used as an example the um, terraforming tool wow what is this here looks like we've got a strong wow look at that um, let me try to get this a little bit more gradual slope here this is like a Niagara Falls over here um, but as you can tell, we've gone ahead and um, I've, I've kind of illustrated how the uh, terraform tool can really bend and shape the land, and I'm extremely happy with it. Like I've said, you know, having this back in SimCity days, we'll probably still be playing SimCity, to be honest with you. But um, this episode, we're going to kind of do something similar as we did over here uh, with some of these channels, and um, but we're, they're not going to be as extreme. We're going to kind of just have a couple channels here um, for industry. Uh, and we're going to kind of create and help our, um, I guess we're going to help our pollution problem this episode, but we're going to kind of, I'll show you what I'm going to do. I've seen what other YouTubers do, and it's going to help our flow situation. Let me let me show you what I mean here. Beautiful. And let's draw a road to zone. And we also can move our um, power plants out this way, too. Let's go ahead and stretch our power lines first before we go ahead and do that. Solar plants are actually doing a fantastic job. Um, they produce a lot more electricity than I thought they would. But maybe because we don't have any nighttime here in this uh, city. There's we must live on uh, Mercury or something because there's literally no nighttime. I guess Mercury would have a day-night. It just would come a lot quicker and a lot more fierce. But you know what I mean. There's no night cycle. So. Um. Okay. So let's go ahead. Look, how come that filled in so nicely and it wasn't filling in nicely over here? I don't get that. But um, let's see here. We will see. We will see. Um. Alright. I don't want to... I don't want this all to be industry. I don't know what we're going to do over here, to be honest with you. I just kind of want this little area to be industry. That's all I want. I don't want to go nuts over here. Um, I guess we can just draw something like that. Let's see how this is going to be fed in and how we're going to look here after we get this up and running. Um, and I'll show you here what my idea was. Getting tremendous lag spikes here. What is going on, people? Okay, we're good to go. Sorry about that. Not sure what's going on. Maybe my hard drive is getting full. You know what? Let me check that because I have not checked that in a while. And that's usually what constitutes any of you out there that are YouTubers that are recording. Make sure you have enough hard drive space before you start. It's not too much to ask of your system. It seems like I have enough, but I don't know. Very interesting. 
So let's see. Let's go ahead and stretch out some power down here. You know how it goes. Once we first start, we want to kind of... Okay, so we are losing water here. Now, I've seen, and we're going to try this here. This is kind of experiments. That by adding in um, these guys here, these bad boys, these sewer plants or whatever. What are they called? So I don't sound like a complete buffoon here. Uh, they are called water treatment plants. By adding those in, this is actually going to create somewhat of a flow for our little ravine here. All we got to do is connect it up. We need water out there anyway. Um, let's see if we connect this. Um, this is kind of serves as multi-purpose here. And now this should hopefully bring up our water levels. Yeah, look at that. Look at it go, man. Look at it go. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. So let's give that some time. And we'll focus a little bit more on this little area over here. I've connected two up some uh, train stops. This number here is very defeating. Um, I'll click on this occasionally, and it'll say passenger service last week, 346. And then, you know, I'll wait a little bit, and then I'll click on it, and it'll say zero, like you just saw. So I really don't know what that number means. Don't tell me that those trains are only coming through once a week, because that you and I both know that is not true. Another thing, too, I don't know if I've mentioned, we've actually added, or I've, I've downloaded some parking garages. I figured it was fitting next to our posh mall. Um, and these here, I've actually added in. We're going to have to move these guys. Let's move these now, because they're causing quite devastating pollution out that way. Because uh, we were having some garbage issue, issues. Excuse me. So let's move these out of the high traffic area. So that should um, help out. And let's go ahead and add in... Perfect. Very nice. And look at how beautiful that is. It's slowly but surely filling up. That's exactly what we wanted. And let's add another... we not have power over here? I don't think we have power. Just if we just add something like that. Hopefully we'll get the wrap around there. Um, we can actually add in these zones here. And... I guess a dump. That'll work. Perfect. So let's see. So this now is serving, and I really don't want to venture too much more out to our tourist hotspot. Um, this is now serving our power, our garbage for now, and the little bit of industry. And we're going to see if these messages start to go away. Um, I also wanted to focus on this little part of town here. I mean, can you believe how sprawled up this has gotten here? Granted, I, I can't actually remember. I will have to maybe uh, rest aside an episode for that of all, all of my um, assets and stuff like that. But, I mean, this is just this is just spectacular here. Some of these, um, these new building designs. This is like my favorite part of the city so far, I'd have to admit. This and the farmland out west. But, um, very nice. And I actually downloaded a couple new things. Let me see if I can find them. Um, I know there's another building building that I downloaded. Sometimes it's really hard. I wish they had just a category that just said downloaded items, you know? Like... Oh yeah, this hotel. This hotel is so nice. I'm wondering if we should put it out here. I know I said I didn't want to do any big buildings, but... This hotel is... Awesome. Like, if we put it... Look at that! I don't want to put it right on the edge there. Let's put it... Let's put it there. And then let's see what we can do with this land over here. Oops, not industry. There we go. What could we do with this land? I don't know. I just love the way that looks. And we got a helicopter on top. Look at that. That is, that is supreme, man. This one building isn't, isn't bad enough. We find some cool hotels. There's actually a lot of mods and assets. Oh, I paused it. Uh, a lot of mods and assets with um, casinos. I thought that was exciting. Uh, that's one awesome thing. And I know I've mentioned SimCity like four times in this video now. But that is one thing I really miss about um, SimCity is the casino life. Um, adding in that gambling aspect. That is something really cool. Hopefully, um, that's my gut feeling with... Um, they released for... Um, 
City Skylines, or they didn't release, they stated that at Gamescom, I believe, or one of these big gaming events that's coming up here in August, I think it's Gamescom, uh, in Germany, that they're actually going to announce the City Skylines' first actual, like, DLC DLC, like, where it's coming from the developers. Not sure of the cost, not sure of what it's going to involve, but that would be super cool if they added, like, a whole gambling specialization to it where we can add in uh, casinos and have that aspect. I mean, that that would be really sweet. I, I bet you they're going to do it, you know? I mean, because that's really the only thing in this game that, you know, is kind of lacking of SimCity. Um... That and the day-night mode. I'm, I'm thinking they need to do something with that. Now, I've downloaded the day-night pack or the, I think it's called Sun Shift or something like that. And, I don't know, it kind of works. It kind of doesn't. It taxes your computer like you can't believe. I mean, if you have trouble running this game now, don't even think about downloading the uh, Sun Shift. Um, but it kind of makes it go into night. The thing about it, though, is it goes into night, but there's no, like, building lights to go on. So, I don't know, it's... It kind of half works, I guess. You, you you feel that if you're gonna go into night, you should at least have um, you should at least have the building lights turn on. So I don't know. It's up to you. All right. So this is actually coming along pretty nice. I'm just closely monitoring. Let's go ahead and put a little fire station out here because these people don't know how to not burn down their house or their factory or whatever. I'm trying to see if these messages go down because I don't want to. Some of them have disappeared. I don't want to oversaturate this area here, but I want to at least make it so um, we've got some sort of devotion to industry. So, very good. I, I'm liking how this is coming out so far. And we can actually zone in. Like, if we just want to do something like that, we can just kind of just fill it in just for now. We'll see how this all turns out, but. I'm um, trying to think of what else we can do here for right now. I've, I've got other um, episodes in mind. The airport is coming. I know a couple of you have sent me messages regarding that. Um, oh, I guess we can draw a bus line out this way. But the um, the airport's going to take quite a few episodes, which I'm excited about. Um, And I have a few ideas in mind. Uh, Reddit's actually a great place for that. They, um, they've got so many creative people that post stuff on there. I'm not saying that I'm going to steal any of their ideas, but I mean, just seeing what can be developed in this game is just absolutely amazing. Um, I'm almost thinking that we should just, and let me know in the comments below, um, I don't want to like build this whole air i told you several times i don't want this whole entire region to be built up i i want it to have some sort of structure um and i want to have you know different towns and stuff like that and you know separated by some country or some prairie land or whatever the heck you want to call it um but i want to maybe think if this area here is probably best for our airport um again we have the terraforming tool we can kind of mess around with that. This, in my opinion, would be a great entry point to our airport if we kind of drew this down and, um, and and made the airport out in this vicinity here. This is nice flat land. I think it would be um, be pretty good. We've got access to rail and our highways and, and whatnot. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below the airport. Uh, or would you like to see it like out over here somewhere? I, I just think that you know, with the um, the way the highways are set up here, it's probably best to just focus more, you know, down over this way. That's just my opinion. i um, thinking that's probably what we're going to go with, but if someone else has got some compelling idea, I'd like to hear it. So, not really that um, great of an episode here. Just kind of uh, wanted to give you more of an update and show you kind of where we're at. Um, it's kind of an endless battle, though. Like I said, we've, we've got messages about not enough creation of goods, so we make goods and now we don't have enough workers so you know it's kind of an endless thing we'll see if we can add in some more um residential uh zones here just temporarily and uh, i'm going to try to lay out the airport design for our, our maybe our coming episodes here i'm really happy we got this this little area all fixed up and i'm going to look for some super cool assets with trees and stuff like that for in here i really couldn't find much uh that i I've experimented with that I liked, so I'm going to try to continue to find more. But um, again, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. Appreciate everyone for tuning in. Uh, drop a like for more City Skylines, and we'll see everyone next episode.